Hi Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card was made using the new Daisy Lane stamp set and the mini Daisy Punch which you can get in the new catalogue. So I'll be using this stamp set here, the stamp here and the punch. Um, for the sentiment I took that out of everything is rosy and I put may your birthday be filled with pretty things and what else well, the bank background stamp is handwritten so we're going to be using that as well the cardstock I'm using is basic grey I haven't used this for a while so I thought I'd give it a go We've got eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, and folded in half. We've got a piece of um, petal pink cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and I've got a piece of um, smoky slate at one and a quarter inches by three and seven eighths of an inch. I've also got a piece of very vanilla where I've used the delicate um, edgelet die on there just for an extra bit of trim and this started off at about one and three eighths and then I cut that by f it's supposed to be uh, three and seven eighths but it is a bit longer and I will trim it and I've got some scraps for the daisy and for the leaves we'll be using the leaf punch for this which we'll do now and then I can forget about it so we need two And that's them done. That can go over there. So first of all, we will do our stamping. So we need that for the daisies, that for the background, and that for the sentiment. Right, the background. We'll do that first. I'm just going to leave that on my paper and ink it up in crumb cake by the way, sorry and place the cardstock on top of it and a bit of paper over the top and Give it a good rub. And lift it off. And I have a very faint handwritten and that way up. Looks like my writing scruffy. The, clean the stamp off put it away right next don't need that anymore we are going to do the daisies and with them we're going to do them in petal pink Now, if you're stamping these, you've never done it before. If you make sure when you post your daisy on your block, north and south, don't do it school with because the punch goes in north and south. Just makes punching them out a lot easier. Don't 
need that no more. All right, and we'll punch ooh, these out. Just line them up. stiff this punch maybe because it's new right I was just saying the other day how good this punch was compared to the big one where it used to get stuck all the time and there is our daisy which we'll glue together later and now we need to do our sentiment and I'm going to stamp it in basic grey and With our, I'm going to stamp it over here on the left. Not very straight. Let's do it again. Bring it down a bit. Sorry about that. That looks a bit better. Yeah, so and the stamps and close that up. Right, that's all our inking done. So let's put this card together. Burnish that. this down. I always use glue. Very rare I use um, tear and tape or snail. In fact I don't like snail. And then this needs to be glued to this. So Glue that. To there. And then we should trim off what we don't need. And that will sit on there like that. So I'll glue that down. And I'll just plant that down there. Didn't think about seeing if it was straight. the daisies, a bit of glue in the middle, that might be a bit much actually, and then we just place them in between each other to form a full flower. And our leaves, what I've done with this, I got my thumb, both my thumbs, and I folded 
the leaves over my thumb. Just folded them in half. Give them a bit of texture and place them like that and then that will go on there like that. But first of all, with my bone folder, I gently just bent up the daisy. Only gently. So, pop some glue on the leaves. And some glue on the daisy and pop that in the middle. And now all we got to do is add some gems. used gold last time but also used a gold faceted gem let me see if I can find some I've got a funny feeling I haven't got any left there's silver hmm Not pearls. Aha, here's one. No, I had a loose one. So I am going to put some glue in the middle and place this gold faceted gem in the middle. And then we just sprinkle three of these about. So I put one here, one down here, and one here. And there we have it. And there's not a card in the inside. Did I put anything inside this one? No, I didn't even put a card inside that one. It's just as well I keep a supply at the side of me. In my little desk tidy. I do have a, a pile of them. There we have it. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. Uh, and if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos that I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.